Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. All right, so listen, it's been a while since I did a versus. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do a versus looking at this tool called trolley.ai. Um, if this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like subscribe. If you know me, you know I'm about the LTDs and trying to break them out and to see if they make sense for you and your bottom line. You also know me that unlike most of the other channels you see out there, I actually use the tools that I talk about, right? Um, so wanted to break this tool down, picked it up. It, it definitely piqued my interest, definitely for $49, a one-time payment. If you are not familiar with AppSumo, they do these lifetime deals where you pay once a month. I mean, you pay one time and you no longer have to pay. It's, it's actually, when you think about it, it's a throwback to uh, pre-2000s when you paid one time for a software program and you would just get access to the updates. Um, but having SaaS tools, you know, you could either go for a monthly opportunity because of server space and all that, that a lot of these companies have to now have in, in order to deliver the product to you, right? And so it's, it's kind of hit or miss. You will find some good deals, but there are some good deals that are worth paying for or some updates that come with them. So just thought I'd throw that in there as well. And the good companies give you the good balance of both saying, hey, you got an LTD deal, but there are other things that we want to add to it that would allow you to continue to be a customer of ours and or recommend to your friends, coworkers, and family members, right? So I wanna take a look at this tool I do not want to hold you long. I got a couple other things I want to get to, but I wanted to do a quick versus and I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. Um, so Trolley AI is a short form, long form type of writer for blogs, right? So um, I unpacked it, unloaded it here. Let's take a look at it here really quick. Uh, again, the pricing is $49. You can get 30 articles a month. Um, and then what you have here is you have a tier two that gives you unlimited articles a month. Now, what I did the versus, and it's giving you the AI, open AI, chat GPT 3.5, GPT uh, four, and all future AI models, which is good. Uh, one of the other things that I like that it has, it has API access, right? Just in case if you want to turn it in and, and put another interface on the front end, and then do some other things that come out the back end and it can send over some titles or, or so on and so forth for you. So uh, auto SEO optimization, we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, has a text editor in there, right? And so I think that's good if they can give you the, help you write the content and have an editor in there, I think that's even as good as well. And this also generates photos for you for your particular article. All right, so Let's look at it really quick, right? That's what we're going to look at that. That's the cost of it. Little, um, it's got some things here as far as um, some of your documents and where they rank and so on and so forth, right? But here's what I'm going to do. Let me show you really quick what it looks like. And I'm going to show you the tool. Actually, let me show you really quick the tool I want to I want to um, do a versus against, uh, which was my favorite um, and it's still in my favorites. Uh, it's called wordplay, right? And wordplay is a long form AI writer that writes, uh, articles, uh, blog articles in minutes, right? It's very, very, very quick. Um, they can create articles for you. Um, but look at the pricing here. And I think, and if you even go back to when did this come out, this came out, um, probably, uh, several months ago, maybe six months ago. Um, yeah, it came out about six months ago and there looks like they're back here on AppSumo. I don't know if they, I think they left for a little while and then they came back. But what they have here is, and I think even on their website, well, on their website, you look at their pricing, they got a lot of one-time deals on there. So there's just mostly one-time deals, right? And you can generate up to 15,000 words per month for 198. Well, when you put that up against here would give you unlimited right and all future um added ai models they're saying you can write unlimited articles for 179 so you look at 179 versus 198 that's limiting you to 15,000 words per month 
right? Or 2000 word articles from one keyword, you know, that's, that's, this appears to be on the more expensive side, but this is prior to chat GPT, right? They came out before chat GPT. They were the first in, to me, they were one of the first that did it just like this, where you put in your topic and it would spit out the article for you in minutes. Um, and I really like what they were doing. I think there was two others, but theirs was the best. Theirs was the best one that I had seen. So I really, really do uh, appreciate what they did. But I think what has happened is it's gone a step further. Uh, and again, so this has 253 reviews and that's for a reason because they were the first ones, right? So let's take a look at it. And I'm gonna tell you what the major differences that I saw between both. I ran more of a similar article or keywords and I ran them side by side. I'm gonna tell you the difference that I noticed in both of them. So let's go ahead and get started here. So what I did inside Trolley AI is I went in, right? And um, I here's how you, when you create a new document, this is how it looks, right? You put in your end of your topic there, you put in some, some keywords here and they show up. And then you say, hey, what do you wanna produce it in English, Portuguese, Italian, French, German, Indonesian. Dutch, so on and so forth. So those are languages they have, and I think they have some more languages that are gonna be coming out, they said in their next sprint. So I'm thinking in the next um, two weeks or so is what they were saying. So as of this video, right? So then what they have is they have short form, long form, long form pro. I don't know from what I understand, long form pro is not available with this AppSumo deal. They said, uh, absolutely. I mean, long form pro is, it's just a longer article, right? 6,000 words or something. Um, I think that that is not available here. And I think that needs to be noted. Um, it gives you this, but it doesn't say anything on here that, uh, long form pro is not available, right? So now this is all future pro plans, but it, but long form pro is not available, right? So you type in the, um, the keywords and then it'll ask you, hey, we're gonna help you find a title. We can regenerate titles. And then we can go to outline and find out what your outline will be. Um, and then it just, you just select the article, right? So I'm not gonna get into that. I just wanted to show you what the outcome was. So here's what I was able to generate. Um, so I was able to generate, I'm doing this article on UpCoach for my other channel. And um, this is the article that it spit out, right? Um, and then you can add images. Well, this is something that they said it's not a major play, not a, not a major piece, but um, what it what it actually does is it allows you to um, select from here, and you can just add some photos in there, and so on and so forth. So you can do that as well. And so this is the article that it produced, right? And I'm gonna go into it a little bit here. And I'm gonna tell you what the difference is and what I've seen between that and wordplay. But this is the article that it produced, right? You can go in, you could uh, customize it, make it, a, um, you know, you can change your, your, um, your headlines, your blocks, right? Um, then you can add links in here as well. So this is the article. I gotta tell you, right it wrote it pretty um what you see here is you have to go in and then you have to break it down you have to say hey it has one here that was one of the things that i didn't like that it did but it gave me everything and like when it starts numbering here it's just all included in here it doesn't break it out right but it gave me a lot of content right for what it is that i wanted to accomplish with this right and i started reading through it and it was pretty darn good and it gives you a meta description, which I can appreciate, right? That's always comes, sometimes it's kind of hard to come up with a good meta description when you have to um, put the article together and then so on and so forth. Now, that's what it gave me, right? Gave me an introduction. Look at the introduction it gave me, introduction. Introducing uh, UpCoach, the leading coaching platform you need to know, right? That's the introduction there. Let's start off with the introduction here for the one I did in WordPlay, right? This is the introduction here. In the busy digital age we live in, personal growth and development should never be put on the back burner. However, finding the time and the resources for coaching. So the introduction for, for wordplay was definitely better, right? 
Wordplay didn't give me a meta description, but um, but it gave me a good definition. Now, when I go to, and this is something I've noticed even in other articles with wordplay, what I notice with wordplay is wordplay really tries to write at a at a very very mature. Um, it doesn't the readability. It uses a lot of big words, which is one some of the things that I, I don't too much like. You really want your your content to be digestible. Not only that, I mean, it gave it, you can see here it gave me just as much as the article that I re, that I was able to write over there. But this gives me a lot of um, customization on what types of uh, articles, of what types of bullets and or point talking points I want to come over. What this also does, what wordplay also does is it goes and it is to me, it almost goes out and it looks this is exactly what it does. It goes out and looks at the highest ranking um, articles in this space using these keywords and it kind of borrows and mimics what made those high ranking and make those high ranking. And it tries to give you, like I said, it goes out and tries to give you what are the high ranking articles? What are the high ranking headlines? And it tries to bring them back to you and it gives you the ability to do that. Now, what I like about that is it says, hey, these are already ranking. These are some of the topics that they're talking about. Here's what I'm going to tell you. The biggest difference I've seen between uh, wordplay and trolley to me just on this small sample size and it could be some other and if you have anything different to say just please post it in the comments below from trolley and word ai wordplay ai i think trolley's writing was more authentic I, I i have to be honest with you and it almost appears that a real person would write that so what they're basically saying here is up coach is this says hey what is UpCoach and how does it differ from other platforms, right? I didn't write this. Is UpCoach is a leading coaching platform that provides a comprehensive range of tools and resources for both coaches and clients. Unlike other coaching platforms, UpCoach offers a unique blend of online courses, personalized coaching sessions, and a supportive community to help uh, individuals achieve their personal financial goals, professional goals. This is more authentic in the writing. What wordplay does is it's more robotic in what it's bringing over. And to me, I think you have to make, you have to add more of your own flavor and juice to this. Cause you can put this article out just like this, right? But I really believe that it's, you can tell it's AI written. If I held these two up to each other, again, I don't know trolley AI. I don't know. The founders at wordplay i don't know either one of them i'm just giving you my honest opinion because that's what i do i think they're both good tools i have them both obviously but i just i don't believe that um i just don't believe that this is going to give you the most authentic piece of um of layout here right they're they're not giving you the most authentic right and now it has good writing and you can see here in the bottom, I haven't did anything to this, but look at what happens down here. It says as a result with convenient accesses granted to DD date resource, easily accessible under roof up coach and power. Okay. So what happened here? I didn't do anything to this. This just printed out this way. And this is like trying to give you, you know, what's going on here. This is what you're getting here, right? And um, whereas when you click over and you look at trolley.ai, trolley.ai is giving you all of this content. They're giving you a conclusion. They're giving you a summary. I just think if I had to put the two head to head, I'm getting a better value with trolley because I can spend, um, I could actually spend 179 and get unlimited articles right versus going to wordplay and their wordplay is no slouch but i think it's a little bit more restrictive in what i can do now and i already own it but if i had to look at both of these head to head um i'm going to get a better value 
with the trolley.ai and I'm going to get better content, right? I'm going to get better content. Both of them give you a nice amount of content. Like I said, as I close, but this one reads when you read it, it's reading like someone actually really wrote it instead of someone borrowing. So here someone's borrowing the best of best. They're borrowing the best of breeds. So I think if I held them side by side, I think if I could blend in enough of, if I took the time to blend in, if I had the time, if I took in the time, and this this allows you to customize it a lot more too. You have a lot more customization over wordplay than you do over a trolley, a lot more customization, right? And it also allows you to copy as an HTML, right? Or download as an HTML. So you're able to do that as well. And you can copy the whole thing. But if I if I had more time to go through and customize it and make it sound like it was really me writing, I think this would probably rank better utilizing the best of breed of the ranking articles that are out there over this topic. But for authenticity, right? And if, if I wanted to write something that appeared to be more authentic, where I may just need to add a little bit to it. I think this would be, I think trolley.ai would be a little bit better, just what I'm seeing. And that's really it. You can do bulk generation here. You can do the integrations here. Let me show you the, uh, the well, the integrations is just that. It just has Zapier, right? Let me show you the API doc, uh, documentation. I have to cover my keys. Give me one second. And so when you come to the API documentation, obviously you have your token and then you have a user ID. So these are the things you can do with the API documentation, shows you how to generate a fancy headline. This is your API, this is your code snippet here, title outlines, short articles, long articles, long pro articles, right? Then general article summary. So you can generate all of that via API here. That's really it. That's all this really has. Um, in it, I think they're going to be adding some more things to it. So that is pretty much it. You have the wizard here. Um, I, I seen where I think they had it, where you can show how your article's doing and all that. I haven't been able to see that. Let me show you where that screen is. And I haven't been able to see that screen. I just got it, but I think, like I said, I'm going to hold on to it. I want to see what it does, but there's a screen here that I'm looking for that I haven't been able to find this particular screen here. I haven't been able to find this screen. I think that's after you have a certain amount of articles that are out there. I'm just not sure where this particular screen is, where it tells you your total campaigns and your manual campaigns and automatic campaigns. I haven't seen that screen yet. I didn't know you could run campaigns maybe because I don't have all features above. Yeah, so I don't see the campaign particular piece. Let me look one more time. Give me a second here. Yeah, I'm not seeing the campaign mode here. And maybe that's something that's ran over here in Zapier or something like that. I don't see it in. Um, oh, so bulk generation, you can do. Uh, okay, so here's a campaign mode here. So you do have that here. I apologize. I didn't know that I was here. I wasn't doing any bulk generation, so I didn't see that. So this is the bulk uh, generation, generate SEO optimized articles. You can do more than one articles, right? This is a new campaigns coming out. I mean, new short forms coming out. So I, I'm not really sure what check bulk generation limits before starting campaign. So I guess you can run your campaigns here and that's where you see how each one of the articles are actually doing. I'm not really sure how this works. They don't have good uh, documentation. They don't really need any help documentation because it's just really simply just come here and um, you just put in your topic and your keyword and then you just generate it. So that's, that's what I have here. Uh, if I looked at the two, actually both of them can work well. If you already own you already own wordplay there's nothing wrong with owning wordplay because you already have it but if you wanted to do something else and just take another look i think i don't think trolley is bad right 
I, but I got to tell you, Trolley, to me, the writing is more authentic just from what I've seen. All right. And so, like I said, the AI on the other one is it's it's going and finding best of breed. Give me the best articles that are written and are ranked out there. And that's what Wordplay is doing. Give me the best articles that are ranked and written out there and write me something eerily close to that. But it almost comes off as it's it's AI because of the words that they're using. Um, they're using high end words. And it's like they're trying to overcompensate and make it really, really super, super professional. So you'll look here and it'll say overall coach off overall up coach offers an official way of coaches connect worldwide maxim maximizing what? What is this? Is this useful potential of technology? I don't know. It. And then technology is not even spelled correctly because it's technology T, right? And then it says goals, individual goals, cust per year. These are some of the things that bothered me. And it, it always happens towards the end. It's like it wants to finish out whatever words, how many I selected. If I selected a 1200 word document, it wants to fill in the blank with some other stuff or it helps uh, make the word content count go up further. So with convenient access is granted to D2 and then it says as a result, comma, comma. See those, I'm, I'm not a fan of that, especially if you're gonna charge me per word, right? I think that's a little unfair. But again, I just wanted to do a versus. I didn't want this to be all on trolley. I didn't want this to be all on trolley and I didn't want this to be on wordplay. They're both available right now in on app sumo there's a i'll have a link for both here if i'm bringing them to you for the first time please uh use my links i promise you you can ask anyone i will make maybe i will make maybe a dollar off of this sale if you purchase this from me i'd probably make about a dollar and then this one i would probably make about a dollar 75 or almost two bucks maybe maybe two dollars and 25 cents we don't make that much, but if enough people purchase from me, then it will allow me enough, an opportunity to at least buy at least one more program to do a review on next month, if possible. So again, I'm not, I'm not sitting here, not sitting here getting rich. I run my own businesses. I run my own programs, but if you guys want me to continue to break these down and bring them to you, um, utilizing my links is uh, greatly appreciated and I do appreciate that. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of these two. Hopefully you guys are doing well. This is Jenny Jones. Hey, another surprise is coming up. Um, I want to say maybe next week. And I'm going to do something on that as well or towards the end of this week. You guys be good out there. Take care. Goodbye for now.